When running a WooCommerce store, you need to be concerned about several challenges, such as failed orders, declined payments, cart abandonments, and so on. Today, we will focus on failed orders and how you can handle them with email automation. Hey everyone, it's Nabila with MailMint, and today I'm going to show you various reasons why your orders may fail and how you can create automated emails in order to try and make your customers purchase from your store again. So, let's begin. Now, some of your customers' orders may be marked as failed is maybe their card was declined or maybe you had an authentication issue with your payment getaway, maybe your API key was fired or you had issues with your site. Now, even if it's not an issue from your user's end, you need to have automated emails so that you can calm your customers down before you sort things out. Now, you won't be able to always find the issue with the uh, orders right away. But what you can do is send troubleshooting documentation to your customers or maybe ask them if their card has validation. And from your end, you can check the WooCommerce system status or maybe check your WordPress site health in order to find if there's any issues from your end and fix them right away. Now that you know the importance of automated emails after a failed orders, let me show you how you can create an automation in MailMan. Let's get started. To use this automation for failed orders, you need to have MailMint free and pro plugin installed and activated on your WordPress dashboard. And you have to install and activate WooCommerce as well. You can see in my side that I have already done that and now I'm going to show you how to create the automation. So first, I'm going to click on Automation Module. Then it takes me to this page and now I'm going to click on New Automation. So once I do that, you'll see some automated pre-built recipes. You can either choose from these or you can create one from scratch. We already have a pre-built automation recipe for failed orders. So if I click on select, the automation will be activated and then you can see that the trigger here is selected as order failed. And then if I want, I can add them to a specific list. All right. So if I do that, you can see there are some uh, lists here. Maybe I want to add them to failed order list. You can see that I can also create a list from here. So I'm going to just simply add this list and then add this specific list to this automation. Now let's go ahead. Then you can select a time delay between the uh, failed order and when you want your customers to receive an email from you. So currently the default time delay is set up as one minute and I'm going to change it to let's say 10 minutes. All right. Now you can either add an email sequence to your users or you can send a single email if you want. Now for this video, I'm simply going to show you a single email. All right. So I'm just going to cross this and then I'll add a send an email action here. So you can also generate your subject line from using chat GPT. What I'm going to do is I'm simply going to write a subject line. You can also add an email preview text if you want. So now I'm going to design an email. So you can either start from scratch or you can select any of the pre-built templates from here. I'm simply gonna click on start from scratch and then I'm gonna drop a text block here. I'm gonna change the background color and then I'll write an email. So for this video, I have already written an email for you guys. I'm simply going to paste this. Let's format it. Now, you can see that in the email I have mentioned that we had an issue processing my user's payment and I have asked him to check his card validation, all right? And I have also mentioned a troubleshooting documentation and I will add a link to it, all right? So let's add a link to this email. Let's say I want to send this specific troubleshooting documentation, all right? So I'm going to go back and link this to the specific words let's link this apply 
and you can see that the link has been added to this specific line all right and you can also finish it with a signature now there's another thing if you want to personalize these failed order emails a bit more you can also use the merge tags or placeholders here so you can simply go here click on contact and address your users in their first name so once you're done editing the email what you can do is simply click on next and then you have to click on the start workflow so once you do that your automation will be created you can use this automation in order to create automated emails to send to your customers and remind them that somehow their orders have failed and they may need to purchase again and if you continuously follow up with them it will build a trust between you and them if you create automation for this exact situation and personalize your automated emails enough there's a high possibility that your customers will come back and reorder from your store so don't wait up start automating those emails today that's all for today i'll see you in my next video